I, I really enjoyed that song a lot. A lot more than I thought I would, actually. Well, actually, I wasn't really sure. I had no idea if I'd love it or hate it. Obviously, I knew I was probably going to like it because a lot of uh, Yes fans have uh, commented and posts and stuff. I was surprised this song was... Uh, this is the Yes that I really like when they just get a little edgier. And because I always felt like uh, some of their later stuff, it was just not... You know, it was just too tame, too pop. I'm just saying on a Yes scale of things some of their later stuff was more predictable i think uh wow i think they were going on a really good direction here classic kind of yes feeling to it i'm pretty sure it's a classic lineup you know um with chris squire and rick wakeman and steve howe and john anderson of course his vocals are so wonderful to hear just uh it's so it's darn right angelic you know if i had a, an angel watching me over every day of my life and i knew it was john anderson i'd be pretty happy Kind of a spiritual guru for me, and a musical spiritual guru. Really love John Anderson a lot. Uh, the one thing I will say, as far as Bill Bruford versus Alan White, obviously Alan White has played on some of the greatest Yes music. Bill Bruford has played on some of the greatest Yes music. So I like them both. There was one section in this song that I kind of yearned to have heard Bill Bruford playing. So uh, what did you think? Have you reacted to this along with me for the first time? Maybe you're familiar with the song and it's already ranked in your mind as one of your more favorites, less favorites, yes songs. So that's my react and thanks for watching. Spiraling Out as Dean talks to you all later. Bye now.